Hola Taurus, Sun, Taurus, Moons. Welcome to your 2023 Sun, Moon reading. If it resonates, consider a personal pre-recorded or live reading. Just email, DM me or text me at 646-902-5715. When you view this is when you were supposed to see it. I'm sorry, I was adjusting something. Um, also check out your 2022 Sun, Moon reading. See if they rang true for you or somebody else. The first portion of this reading, I'll go over the traits of your Sun, Moon combination. I'll lay out the main cards. We'll take a quick look at your 2023. The second portion will be the Vimeo link below where I will have a deeper interpretation of those cards with clarifiers in addition to a card of advice for 2023. Out pops one, the nine of wands in the upright. So, Let's get to your combination. Uh, Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, sentimental, sympathetic, and sensitive. You will carefully consider your feelings along with sensibility before acting. Your patience and wisdom. <laughs> Why are they all going to come out? Your patience and wisdom goes a long way in situations, but once you've decided upon an outcome, you are adamant in your decision. Loyal to family and friends, you will protect them and provide for them. You're also certain that they will have all essential things life has to offer and a comfortable home to reside in. You can be very resourceful in times of crisis, and this makes you an attractive mate. You're selfless and always available to help others. While you are impeccable with your finances, you can also be generous if the occasion calls for it and the person is worth it. With an affinity for creativity and beauty, the places where you spend the most time are things of splendor to the eye. You take great pride in your ability to weave together artistic pieces that you dream up. So, Holy Spirit Angels, Divine Guides, Universe, can you please find your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Taurus Sun, Taurus Moons for the year 2023? What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground, become closer to Universe and closer to Divine? Thank you for the two cards you have provided. Can you please provide two additional cards? Any messages you have for Taurus Sun, Taurus Moons would be greatly appreciated. We thank you. What do you see? What do they need to know? What do you see for July, August, September? That first card in the upright. Uh, also, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, like, share, subscribe, or donate in any of the links below in support of my efforts. That is always appreciated. And we end on the King of Wands in the reverse. <clears throat> Okay, so we have the Nine of Wands here in the upright for January, February, March. And I'm getting this sense that you've really gone through a lot in 2022. And you don't feel like you want to take any more crap from anybody. So you're very wary of um, people who are approaching you. I almost feel as though there are people that are approaching you that want things from you. I don't know if you're in a position of status or, you know, um, you know, I feel like you have some sort of standing or some sort of something where you can pull strings or do favors or something like that. So you have kind of people coming towards you, um, asking you for shallow things or to do things. And you're very guarded in that regard, you know? You're kind of like, listen, I've been through a lot. If you're going to come towards me, you're going to ask me for stuff just because you want stuff. Um, you know, I don't I don't trust that. So I just feel that people are going to be coming towards you, asking things of you, and you're going to be very mistrustful. Um, I don't know what that situation is, but that's the sense that I'm kind of getting, um, you know, that you don't want to invest in these people or you don't want to kind of help these people out because you don't feel like they're worth it. Um in April, May, June, with the Hierophant card in reverse, which is your card, the card is Taurus, I'm getting this sense that, um, you know, you aren't going with the flow in regards to this. So um, I, I'm, almost, I'm kind of getting this sense, and it's really hard for me to articulate this, but it's almost, you know, you know when you have someone who was like, come on, everybody's doing it, you know? And, and you just don't think it's okay. You don't think that that's something that you should go along and do. Um, so I see you kind of like rebelling against that and saying, nope, I'm not going to do that. I know that everybody's doing that. I know that they're doing that, but I, that's not okay with me. That's not the way that I kind of think that things should be done. And you also don't like being told what to do. So if you have somebody that's trying to, you know, get you to enter the flock or kind of do something um, that you don't agree with, you aren't the type to kind of do it. And you're just going to outright tell people, no, that's not going to happen. I'm going to do things differently. Um, you might actually branch off. So so let's say you're working for a company or you're in an organization or something of that regard uh, could even be if you know in regards to a relationship or a personal connection you might say to yourself I'm done with this and I'm going to start I'm going to map my own journey outside of this so I do see you kind of rebelling and putting your foot down in that regard and then in July August September I feel as if things work out really well um 
I feel as though you're finally at peace. You're very comfortable in your surroundings. Things are really jiving for you. Um, there's a lot of growth. There's a lot of creativity. Um, I mean, look at her. She, the Empress is very, very comfortable here in her surroundings. I mean, she couldn't look more, um, you know, <laughs> more comfortable. And I feel like this is where you're very happy that you made the decision that you did. Um, and everything about you is actually, you know, working out for you in that regard. Um, October, November, December to me uh, brings back this entity that you dealt with in the beginning of the year, trying to uh, put the screws to you to um, either get you to change your mind or mess up what you're doing or something like that. They don't like that you stepped outside of the fold. Um, so they're being very demonstrative of this and they're trying to exercise some sort of power over you. Um, they may be crossing certain boundaries that you've put in place. Um, they may be trying to get you to fail or make you feel like you're not gonna be able to continue achieving. I just feel that somebody has a chip on their shoulder at the end of the year is letting, and is letting you know about it because you kind of rebelled against it and said, nope, that's not for me. I'm going to do my own thing um, and I'm going to do it better. So I feel like this person circles back and is a little uh, resentful of that. And they're going to try to kind of pressure you um, into rejoining their ranks or something to that effect. Um, and if you don't, then they're going to try to cause problems for you, which, you know, I certainly don't want to wish on anybody, but that's what I'm kind of seeing for right now. So that's what I have for you, a Taurus, Sun, Taurus, Moons. So if it does resonate, consider a personal pre-recorder or a live reading. Just email, DM me, or text me at 646-902-5715. Um, otherwise, make sure you click on the Vimeo link below where I'll be pulling these cards on those cards for a deeper interpretation. Also check out your 2022 Sun, Moon readings, see if they rang true for you or somebody else. And then look me up on Facebook, Instagram, like, share, subscribe, or donate at any of the links below in support of my efforts. Otherwise, Taurus Sun, Taurus Moons, I will see you in the Vimeo. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.